you guys, welcome to How to Live Your Style. Today, I go to Kale University. It's much like Yale, but it's not Yale, it's Kale. And I'm gonna show you guys how to have the most organized and comfortable dorm room yet. This isn't even a bed that I'm laying on and it's so comfortable. I'm laying on a table, by the way. And step number one, layer up on these guys. These are from Target. You can also get them at Bed Bath & Beyond pretty much anywhere now. They're not that expensive and you throw these foam things on the top of your mattress in your dorm room, you won't even ever want to get out of bed. Which may not be a good thing because you might skip class, but don't do that. Just make sure that you get a couple of these suckers and you're going to be so comfortable, especially if you have a nice little awning. If you want to know how to make this, go to last week's video. Ooh, that is so cute. Now, when you guys go to college, I know it is very stressful. You have to take everything from your real life and try to fit it in a very small, very compact room when you're sharing with another person. You've got to fit your jeans, your sweatshirts, your shoes, your backpack, your jewelry, all in one little spot, and you want it to look organized and you want it to look pretty. So, the best advice that I could possibly give you when it comes to organizing your clothing is under the bed storage. These suckers will save your life. First things first, you gotta make sure you got room for your sweatshirts. These are gonna be probably the bulkiest items that you have. If you guys go to a school where it's real cold and it snows a lot, you're probably not gonna wanna put these on the bottom. The things you use the most, you put on the top. The things you use the least, you put on the bottom. It's just a good way of doing things. In this top drawer here, you're gonna wanna put your shorts, your jeans, any pants that you would wear. The bulkier items, they get the bigger drawer. That's just how it works. You could also store your purses, your backpacks. You probably, hopefully, have several of these beautiful things. This is from Forever 21, by the way. Super cheap and match. You can stick that kind of a thing in this adorable little pull-out drawer here. It's kind of fun with this texture because it's fabric. Now over here, you've got these smaller bins. You want to put your delicates or other daily items. Hopefully you're wearing underwear and bras or boxers every day. Put those on the top. That way you have easy access to them. And again, you can pull this down so no one's ever going to see it. It's just kind of like a great way to use all of this empty room. So if you are to build up with your bed and put stuff under, that's being smart with your space. I learned that from my mom. Thanks, Rebecca. These are so awesome for your shoes. These are really long totes, and they have wheels, so they will roll underneath your bed really, really easy. If I wasn't using a table as my pretend bed in this room, I would be able to show you how to put them. You can put them on top, or you can move all of these over and literally just slide them under your bed. This is like the width of a bed, of a twin bed. Literally any shoes that you would need. You don't have to use closet space. You just like literally all of this stuff goes under your bed. Now you're probably wondering, where do your shirts go? That is a great question. I'm gonna show you. That, my friends, would be tip number three. Get a shoe organizer and put your tank tops in it. Using this lovely shoe organizer, you can either nail these into the wall, which that's gonna make a hole. You can put them over your door, depending on if you have a lot of doors in your dorm room. Sometimes those doors won't close, so I wouldn't really recommend that. Or you can use 3M hooks, which again are my best friend and my favorite thing in the entire world because they're really sturdy and they don't make any holes in your walls. All of your shirts that you would otherwise either have to fold and put into underbed storage or hang, you can literally roll them up and know they won't get wrinkled. Trust me if you do it the right way. And stick them in their little cubby. How cute is that? Now, I recommend trying to find clear ones. I used to have clear ones, but when I went to the store the other day, they didn't have clear ones. If you can't find clear, do the see-through white fabric because you can still tell what color they are and they'll still be so organized. You can do them by color and you can kind of just make them your own little storage. And it's super creative and a great way to organize all of your stuff. So for step number four, I'm going to recommend that you guys hang your jewelry in a really functional yet fashionable way. These 
two fabric wall hangs, which I think are really fun. They're literally made out of a placemat and a floor mat. I'm gonna show you guys today how to make your jewelry organized on those. The key, pin on hooks. You can find them at a Joann's or a drapery fabric store. And basically you're gonna wanna take the straight side, that's got the point, and you're gonna wanna put this through the fabric. You literally just push it back. And now you have a hook to put either a bracelet. Ah. For necklaces, you could use two of these. This is like so cute. Do like all your bracelets on one side, layer your necklaces in the center or on the side here. And then on the point here where it gets kind of like difficult, you can't hang very many things. Maybe put like a few rings. Oh, by the way, if you're traveling, this is a fabulous way to pack your jewelry. You can actually put a hook right here. And then you can put all of your little rings like that. So I'm gonna add a few other things on and then I'll show you how you can use it as your own wall decor. It's gonna be great. You can double them up, you can do whatever you want. And same with this one. You can even hang your sunglasses. So cool! Pinteresty. Isn't this, this actually is very Pinteresty. I know cameraman back there likes to hate on my mom and I for saying Pinteresty, but it is so a term now. If you agree with me, will you comment below so we can show the cameraman that it's actually a thing? Like when someone says that's so Pinteresty, you know what we mean. I know, hopefully they comment. Please comment or else he's gonna make fun of me for the rest of my life. <laughs> Here are the three products I recommend. And no, I'm not doing a sponsored ad for any of these brands. Just so you know, this is really how I feel. Okay, Clorox disinfecting wipes. The reason I recommend these is you do not need a sponge. It is a sponge and a cleaning product all in one. You also have Clorox toilet bowl cleaner. Now this stuff, you're gonna need a toilet bowl brush, but I did not want to put one of those in my little basket because that's gross. But this is perfect. It will bleach your toilet so it won't make it look like weird colors and it'll clean it and it's super easy and it's not that bad smell, so I would recommend that. And then last but not least, everybody needs Windex because you know a bunch of girls in one room depending on how many roommates you have. If you're in a sorority house, you'll definitely know what I mean. You could probably get a lot of hairspray on the mirror. You could get, you know, you wanna keep it clean. And if you have these three products, and this is what I call a cleaning caddy, you'll be good to go, and your dorm room will be so clean, it's imperative that you keep it clean. for watching today's video. Hopefully these tips helped you guys organize and clean and comfortableize your dorm rooms or just your bedroom in general. I think these tips are really fun and really easy to do and I'm telling you it's gonna make things real nice for you when you're at school or if you're just at your normal house. Leave me a comment below if you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me if Pinteresty is a thing. I really need you to tell me that because the cameraman thinks that it's not but I think it that it is. And tell me if you guys are going to college what school are you going to? Are you going to the University of Kale? Hopefully not. And tell me if you liked these dorm room ideas and which ones you guys are gonna to try to use. Check out last week's video, you can look at it over here. You can also see some other dorm room decorating or just normal wall decor, room decor DIYs. They're super fun and super exciting and I think you guys are gonna enjoy them. Thanks for watching guys. If you're not subscribed, click right here and subscribe and we will see y'all next week. Bye-bye. And they're pretty secure, they're not gonna fall. Even if they do,